to get a little emotional here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this excited for a sleep in my entire life. <laughs> Hello YouTube, long time no see. I keep doing that thing that small YouTubers do. They come back for a little bit and then life gets in the way and then they leave. But honestly, my life really, it fell apart. Yeah, I've been rebuilding. I have to go on disability because I'm not able to work because of a combination of factors, including extreme fatigue. Me and my doctors were hoping that it is because of my severe sleep apnea. I did a test for sleep apnea early on in the spring. I'll put a chart up here. Sleep apnea severity is rated by the times you have an apnea per hour, and an apnea is basically your throat closing off or you not being able to breathe. <laughs> severe sleep apnea is 30 apneas or more. I was having 89 at my lowest, I was getting 75% oxygen, which my doctor said is at the point where your lips start turning blue. Like, it was really bad. Sleep apnea contributes to weight in a number of ways. My doctor told me that when you're having the apneas, a hormone is secreted that basically makes you crave carbs and sugar all day, which doesn't help. I'm hoping my sleep apnea treatment will solve a variety of different things in my life. I have very, very severe brain fog to the point where I've actually stopped driving because I don't feel safe to be on the roads. Cause all sorts of damage to your heart. It can put you at increased risk for stroke, for diabetes, for all kinds of things. Like it's basically terrible for your health. I'm really hoping that it makes a big difference in my fatigue and my brain fog. I don't think I've ever been this excited for a sleep in my entire life. <laughs> so this is one of those days where I am so tired I feel drunk. I would not feel safe to drive. I would get my mom to drive me places if I needed to. I'm hoping the CPAP will help with that. Being depressed, I have messes all over my house and this is one of them. So I have to clean this up. I've just been basically waiting until it's an acceptable hour for me to go to sleep. <laughs> feel like kind of anxious about this whole thing which might sound weird but i guess i'm just like nervous and i really hope it helps so i feel like there's like a lot of pressure on it if that makes sense sometimes i take an ativan if i'm feeling really anxious before i go to sleep in the meantime i'll try and calm down with some yoga and see if that helps so that way i don't have to take an ativan i've been doing this bedtime yoga routine for years and years and years like it's been up for i think seven or eight years her voice is just like so chill. And it can be a little awkward to actually get your bum to the Two thousand years later. So I didn't get much filmed on the first day that I tried the CPAP just because I was like kind of so overwhelmed that I <laughs> forgot to film. The first night my cat woke me up super early so I didn't get to sleep as long as I would have liked. However, it felt like I was in a really deep sleep, whereas before it always felt like I was just like dozing, which makes sense. When you have an apnea, your brain puts you into a lighter sleep to hopefully prevent it from happening again. That's what my sleep doctor said. I felt a lot better, like a lot better. Can do tasks without feeling like I'm having to do them through sheer force of will. I have energy. I almost feel like I was sick before, like I had the flu and now I feel like I'm healthy again. I'm not used to it. I've been living 
with sleep apnea for years and years and years. I am not used to feeling this sharp, to not struggling through my day, basically. I'm gonna get a little emotional here. <laughs> it's, it's been extremely hard to live a life. Chronic fatigue on top of all the other health issues that I'm facing. I really do hope that the sleep apnea treatment helps me have energy to live my life a little bit more fully. My life just lost joy. If I can get some energy back and feel refreshed like I do right now, I've done so much today. You know, I've done laundry, I've changed my sheets, I've cleaned the bathroom, I've I made coffee, I sat on my balcony, I did my morning journals, I took out the garbage. Like, I am, I'm, I'm, my mind is blown right now by how much I've accomplished and I still don't feel tired. I think the CPAP's gonna really make a big difference. 